Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the Wealth Master Class, where we teach you to make, <clears throat> manage, and multiply money. How to start the business well? Starting a business is one of the ways to fulfill the law of entrepreneurship, which says more people become wealthy by starting and building their own successful business than by all other ways on earth. This is the law of entrepreneurship in uh, my book, uh, 33 Revocable Laws of Wealth Creation. So the start, there are reasons people give for starting their business. So, and uh, we're gonna look at some of these reasons why you should start or if you have started and you have not really calibrated your business to be for optimizing, you need to do so. For some, it is the quest to escape the nine to five trap. That's okay. Yeah, you need to get out of the nine to five trap so that you make more money, you achieve more goals, you make more, you, you turn your life around and we taught it several times on this platform. Instead of you selling time, you provide value. Instead of selling time, you provide value. Because when you work nine to five, you're selling your time. But when you solve problems, you have providing value. Then you start in order to make more money. This can happen as you become an expert in your chosen field. Number two points. You become an expert in your chosen field. You find, so listen, the basic answer to making money, every time people ask me, how can I make money? How can I make money? I just tell them one statement and they look at me. I just say, find a problem and solve it. Find a problem and solve it because once you find a problem and solve it, then you change your own story uh, in life and things begin to work out for you. Okay, number three, control your time and your schedule. In your own business, you are likely to work longer outside the nine to five box. That is what business does for you. You are not the nine to five person anymore. You can, your phone becomes a tool of business a tool for working. Your phone becomes an instrument, your laptop, your computer is a tool for working. Your time, you're in the bathroom. If, you, if you're like me, you took your phone to the bathroom, you heard it ringing, your head is saying, it might be so and so. And uh, carefully you tiptoe so that you don't fall on the bathroom floor. You saw, ah, it's the deal you've been talking, the person you've been talking with, you quickly, uh, you quickly answered, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, I don't know what I was, I was, I was, I was taking a walk two, three days ago and some people whose money is due who are paying for some land they bought from us. Uh, suddenly the tax comes in, boom, and they're paying us, I can't even remember how much they're paying us, something in the region of, uh, well, I wouldn't tell you. And uh, my, my, my walk changed. So number four, Create, it helps you to create the, the ideal environment for your vision. That is what business does. You see, there are very gifted people who have turned around their own vision to use it to build other people's business and have not built their own future. But when you have your own business, it gives you the environment in which you can make your vision happen and you pursue your passion. You pursue what makes you happy beyond financial reason. Your own business helps you to break free from the nine to five syndrome. It, it not, does not only help you break free from nine to five syndrome. Number six is a tool for the discovery of purpose and capacity. You don't know your capacity until you are in an atmosphere where you are not just within the rigid book that says this is how much you must do, you know? Uh, Sometimes you want to go beyond the call of duty and work for people who have employed you. You might just have another staff there who looks at you like, why are you wasting your time and why are you giving so much to this job? After all, that's a fixed pay. Your own business helps you to be your own boss. Number seven, helps you to be your own boss. I'll be it, <laughs> if you are your own boss, you better be careful and be very wise and be sure you are not the kind who waste the money, waste the time, waste the opportunity. Number eight, it helps you to build a career and something that has a flow. Number nine, 
It is a platform for the expression of your creativity. So when you also have a business, you are able to build a team, number 10. You're able to build a team around you with whom you achieve your vision. You are able to hit your target reach where you're going. Number 11, it makes you feel excited and alive. You have something to look forward to. Sometimes you'll not be able to sleep. So you better be ready. If you have an exciting business, an exciting dream, an exciting vision, uh, it, it, you, you are unable to totally rest sometimes. Your mind is there. Your spirit is there. You want to make it happen. And I do hope I'm describing your business because if your business have lost uh, the passion and if it has become stale, you need to look for something to get it going, something to make it alive. Number 12, a business helps you build your own brand. We go every day to buy brands. We go every day to buy things that are other people's brand. The time has come for great brands to come out of our community. You know, when people give you a shirt for Christmas, a tie for Christmas, a socks, uh, they give you socks for Christmas or uh, whatever, you are tempted. You just are tempted not only to look at the beauty, but to look at who is the designer. It may not be fair. Some good things come out of places that don't have a big name. But guess what? You have a chance to make your name known, to make your business known. Businesses give financial and occupational security. Remember, what we're sharing today, I know that some of you who have been on the platform, the start, we have said things like this. But we need to touch this part one more time in order for you to really get or the concept of optimizing. Because until you revive your mind and renew yourself and remind yourself, why is this business running? You are likely to slip into just becoming monotonous and running what everybody's running. Business gives financial and occupational security. In other words, in one business transaction, you can have what you could have made in a whole year. You could have it in one transaction. What could have been for a whole year can be in one business transaction. So, you, and then number 14, you call the shots. It's your business. You call, you call the shots. You run the show. If it is somebody else, else's employee, it is whatever they say. But if it is yours, you can't afford to close. You can't afford to... Say, sorry, we're closed. We can't. I mean, of course, I do see some businesses. Sometimes you see some corner shops. They will tell you oh, we are closed. If a person has a passion, they find ways to fulfill the desire they have. If your motive is, for example, to make money, and somebody comes with some large sums of money, you wouldn't say, sorry, it's Christmas. Uh, it's Christmas period. I can't, I don't work on Boxing Day. Uh, 27, we're closed until the new year. And the person tells you, well, I'm taking my 100,000 pounds business somewhere else. Any passionate businessman for whom one of the motivations is the financial benefits, he will say, look, uh, I think we can look for a way around and find something to do. Find something to do. Find something to make it happen. Make it happen. It is where you lose your passion and you are distracted that you let money move away from you. But where you are not distracted, you do all you can to attract the finance, to attract the money. Business start makes, I mean, the, gives you flexibility. You have more spare time. You have more spare time because now you are able to do two, three things at a time. Number 16, you choose how you want to sell, when you want to. How you want to sell and when you want to. You choose it. You determine it. Uh, we were signing a business, I know the last part of our track of land and the people who wanted to pay, we had agreed 12 months. They came back and said it would be just impossible for them to do 12 months. Can they do 24? I looked at the money. I didn't want the money to go. 
it was such a huge amount. Uh, I can't even quantify uh, what they now want to pay monthly. It's more than what I've ever, uh, it's more than what I've ever earned annually. And they want to pay it monthly, man. And at the same time, I don't want to look like I'm too easy. So I had to say, okay, how about doing 18 months instead of 24 months? You change from 12 to 24. How about doing 18 months? And I told the lawyer, why are you discussing 18 months with them? If they still insist on the 24, let's sign. <laughs> they came back and said, okay, we also will adjust. Can we do 20 months? I said, it's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> In other words, that's what business does for you. It brings a flow a flow that completely brings joy to you and makes you achieve. Number 17, it brings you in contact with new people. That's the power of business. You meet new people every time. Business introduces you to new perspectives. Did you know that travel has power to make you see things you've never seen, things you have never seen? And in the way you've never seen it, it makes you to sometimes readjust your decisions because you've traveled. Same thing with contact with people. There are people who have the answers to the questions you've been asking. There are people who see the things you don't see. And so they help you to capture the dream, the vision. Number 18, it helps you to build your own team, not, impo uh, not an imposed one. When you work in a business, everybody who is in your line of management, you may have some say in choosing them, but it was not entirely yours. But when it's your business, you are able to decide, you are able to choose, you are able to make decision as to who uh, your staff is. 19, you are able to help people, more people with employment. You are able to own your own car and help your dependents. Business has power. People who come into employment, you are, by, you are by chance not only paying them, but you are giving the whole family a future. They draw from your vision, from your dream. They make income from your dream, from your vision. Their children go to school. A school is sustained because you are part of the sustenance. The knock-on effect of a business is huge, depending on how big. But let us imagine that you are building an estate with 500 homes. There are 100 to 200 people working in the place. Did you know that by that act, you are putting food on the table for over 1,000 people? You are sustaining a school, a hospital, uh, a food industry, a building materials industry, you are making some, it's just, it just goes on. That's why your start must be so strong. And please, if you're on this platform, it's great to have a business, but it's not enough for you to just say, I just want something small to do in my spare time. No, I want to push you to, to, to achieve something big, something great. Number 20, it gives you the gaining of financial independence. So that you're, you know, sometimes when you just look at people, you can just say, okay, I know how much they earn. I know how they can live. I know which life. But when you have a business, it is very difficult. Nobody, unless somebody opened the books or they know the volume of your business. Once they don't know the volume of your business, when you have one business, two businesses, three businesses, four businesses, bringing streams into your life, they practically change your platform, your capacity, your ability and they give you financial independence. You, are, you don't have to rely on a person, an employer, and you don't have to rely on one source. So you have it flowing from various places to make your dreams happen. 